Hello, and welcome back to Let's Play Ultima 9 Ascension. In our last video, the Avatar used the return ritual to go to Britain and drop off all the goodies that he picked up during his journey into Dungeon Covetous. But now he's back in Minoc, and it's time to talk to Raven. Well, I think that you're ready to sail this thing yourself. Let's go back to Buccaneer's Den and get the charts that you'll need. All right, let's go. Pretty sure that's the game's way of letting you know that you're about to get to control the ship. Avatar, something very strange is happening. What is it? What's wrong? It's the ship. I don't have control of her anymore. Look, it doesn't matter where I steer, we're only going one way. It's like we're being taken somewhere. That doesn't sound good. Hmm. What did the Avatar scribble about that? Day 24. Raven said we were going back to Buck's Den, but the ship is being drawn somewhere else on its own. That is indeed what happened. Let's, let's ask her about it. This looks like serious trouble. It could be. What do you think we should do? I need to stay here to guard the ship so we can leave. You go check out things on the island, but be careful. Right. Um, yeah, this, this doesn't look great. Where are we? Well, you can see at the uh, bottom of the map, the southeast corner, flashing red pin there, as Turfin. And you can see a very interesting landmark directly to the north of the flashing red pin. Oh, yes. Yeah, uh... Things just got real, and the Avatar is doing bunny hops. There we are. Well, it's never too serious to uh, destroy crates and barrels. Must always do that. Anything over here? Nope. All right, let's, uh, what about on this? Anything in there? Nope. Oh, this is lovely. Hey there, bud. How you doing? You're not doing much of anything. Nor are you. Oh boy, a vulture. Yeah, go ahead and try to buzz me. See what I do about that. See what I do. This place is mighty corpsey. Not good. Oh. Just a dragon. No big deal. No big deal. Oh, there's another one. Also no big deal. We've got some serpent wine. We'll take that. Well, we've uh, we've taken down dragons before. I'm really not concerned. Yeah, yeah. My turn. do this all day. But I won't need to. Look at all the pretty gems there. Unfortunately, no, no diamonds. But uh, emeralds and sapphires are quite all right. Okay, combat music, you can stop. Just do a quick heal. Feeling much better. 
it's interesting. This uh, this doesn't hurt. All right. And uh, are you gonna react? Well, it's not happy that we're here. But, uh... Ah, yes, that... Were we to get in that, we would uh, die. The Avatar can't go swimming in the lava. Now, this one could be a bit of a challenge because it is flying in some very difficult terrain. Or, you know, difficult for the Avatar to navigate. You know, it's uh, looking like a ranged situation. Yeah, I'm just going to have to blow through the rather large stockpile of arrows that we have. That's okay. And it just can't react while it's being uh, bombarded like this. Three arrows at a time. Unfortunately, this does take uh, quite a bit longer than uh, just running up to it with a claymore and going to town. Oh, I don't want to... Oh, there they go. I'll just lose those three. Goodbye, three arrows. They are gone. Ooh, I see a diamond. Put the claymore back on and put it away and take the diamond. I'm not sure if uh, that dragon had any other gems. Oh, there's a, whoa. Not very good ones. We got an amethyst and a topaz. The two more worthless options. Because as you'll recall, Desrat. And that's it. Okay. Go ahead and heal. All better. Well, almost all better. Oh, there's another one. Oh, it spotted the avatar. Hi. Hello. That is a Crook of Charming. Uh, the Crook of Charming is um, pretty much the best staff kind of weapon that you can get. Yes, it is actually better than the Bladed Staff. Hmm, I just uh, I put on the Bladed Staff and uh, seem to contradict myself. But the damage that the Crook of Charming can do at least from the reading that I've done, is uh, actually better. Plus, it has the uh, small possibility of uh, charming your target. So it's a fantastic weapon. This is what shepherds start the game with. The rest of us just have to find it off that guy right there, because it's the only one of the game. Well, other than, well, if you were a shepherd, there would be one at the beginning and one here, but for the rest of us... This avatar is a ranger. He had to find it right there. There will be no others. We could shoot this one out of the sky as well, and we might have to, because getting up there <clears throat> is... Okay, enough talk. Yeah, yeah. Oh, it's, uh... Uh, fireball dissipated. That was strange. Anyway. Yep. Absolutely thrilling dragon combat. Yeah, I like how it fights back. 
The real question is, will we be able to uh, get to Take that. the gems it drops? It did it even drop any gems, and there go three arrows wasted. And it's getting darker. And janky. There, that should help with that. Well, hopefully we can get up there. But uh, supposing we do, it might be a bit of a long trip back up to where we are now. That's unfortunate, but uh, here we go. Can we climb this? Hmm. We could try levitate. In fact, that would have made combat against the other dragon a little more interesting. We're just going to levitate. We're going to do it right now. It's like a little pocket elevator. I just need to... Oh, that does not last for very long at all. Um, let's try again. The question is, can you move? Nope. I, uh, I moved and it uh, canceled the spell. So I'm not sure... how we should go about getting up there. We can try... Nope, that uh, that's gonna slide. What about this? Oh, of course. Of course. Uh, I don't think we can get through this to that, and even if we could. The avatar will certainly slip off of it. What about this, though? I mean, this is a pretty decent height. Hopefully, the avatar can jump uh, soon. How about now? Excellent! All right. We need to start using the bag a bit here. We got some gems of interest. I mean, not so much. They're not very good. But we've got a sapphire and an emerald, and that is nice. All right. Cool. Good enough. And back down we go. Do a quick heal. We can go this way. Just see if there's any re oh so you can rather easily well I say that we could levitate and get back up just uh, don't want to use all the mana ever might have to or over there perhaps ah there we go it all connects we would have ended up over here anyway and, um, hmm, I don't know if there's anything in there. It, it looks like a cave. Oh, I can see a dead guy. There is a scroll in there. Let's try to get in, although, oh, you know, I don't know if we'll be able to get out if we do that. It's worth trying. We might as well. This is kind of... Kind of dangerous. We'll just, uh... Can you do it, Avatar? Ooh, no. No, I don't think we're getting in there. But yeah, I saw a scroll. I want to know what it says. Because I don't think we can reach it. No. There's a scroll in there. Is there anything else? No, nope, just a dead guy with a scroll. How infuriating. No, nope, we're not getting that. I don't know if we ever will. Although, telekinesis? Haven't tried that yet. And we do know it. Let's see. Um, it's worth trying. I'm trying to line the... 
I was trying to line the uh, reticule up, but we'll just use Q for that. So, where's telekinesis? Right there. Um, can't use it there. Really? Oh, look at that. I've encountered this barrier raised by the Guardian. I think I can get past it, but I'll need the eight sacred sigils. Sir Perky. Interesting. Very interesting. I imagine we would have been able to uh, get to that without using telekinesis at some point in the future. Like these would probably clear out of the way by something that the avatar is going to do or just some event that is going to occur. But it was kind of cool to uh, get that ahead of time, I think. Well, let's keep going the wrong way. I think we are probably supposed to turn back. Let's take a look at the map. And yeah, we are, yeah, all the way on the northern end of the island. This is the northern tip that we're approaching. Hmm. That is a very curious, um, what is that? Is that anything? Is this roots or something? Well, I can't identify it by holding down X, so perhaps it is of no interest. But the... It just looks like you can be on that. Unfortunately, I, I already know levitate would not get us high enough to be up there. Well, maybe it would. We can try it from over here. We can try it. It's almost certainly futile, but... Oh yeah, that's pretty far. And you know what? I think we can see that there's nothing there. So... Just gonna skip that one. At least we know that we probably could have if we wanted to. The Avatar has some pretty cool spells now. Or at least Levitate. I think Levitate is pretty cool. That was embarrassing. Way to go, Avatar. Oh, there's one of those sea monsters or leviathans or whatever. We don't really want to fight one of those while we're in the water because we really can't fight it when we're in the water. Now, if it were to pop up now, hello, come on, too far. Oh, can't reach, can't reach. There we go. Now that's just silly. This is very silly. Oh, it's dead. Well done, Avatar. Yeah, you could see the, uh, the strange green sparkly effect. And I think the sound effects as well were probably all a result of the Staff of Charming. I don't know if that creature actually got charmed by any of those attacks. I think it's a 20% chance. But if you think of it, that's kind of like um, stunning it for however long that lasts. It may get immediately undone as soon as you strike it again and wake it up. And it's like, wait, I love you. Ow, you hurt me. Ow, wait, I love you again. Ow, good. I don't think we're getting up this way, and I don't think I care. We'll just continue. We're definitely taking the scenic route. That's, that's fine. That's how you find cool new stuff.
Okay. Yeah, this is where we came in. Just seeing if there's anything along the beach here. There is not. And there is Raven. And yes, yeah, so we've gone all around the, uh, the island. Can't really put it off any longer. It's probably time to go through the doors. Very, very big doors. Oh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> and the Guardian's having another giggle fit. It's not hard to see why. That is, uh... That, that's quite a thing you've, you've got there. I'm kind of speechless. Well done, Guardian. And what do we have going on here? Just, uh... Big pool of lava. Looks like there's one over here as well. Yeah, all right. Is there anything... Ah, oh, we don't fall in the lava for this. We might. Nope. We're all right. Go, Avatar. I wonder how high we can get... No, that's, that's extremely steep. That's not going to work. Okay, whatever. Well, in we go. I guess the Guardian is going to eat the Avatar now. Yum yum. Oh, we got a map transition there. Eh? What was that? Oh. That portcullis opened, I suppose. Well, we can poke the statues, but uh, nothing happens. Yes, these are the uh, Shadow Lords, or rather, statues of the Shadow Lords. In previous uh, incarnations of Ultima Nine's story, the Guardian was going to be uh, the result of the Shadow Lords, actually. It was, he was going to be that the, the Shadow Lords kind of congealed back together. Uh, after being defeated in Ultima 5 and became the Guardian. But that's uh, not what the storyline ended up being. But here they are anyway, because... Oh. Okay. But anyway, yes, because uh, monuments to evil and all that. I mean, this, this is the Guardian's place, one can safely assume. Uh... Okay, well, if we can find wherever that's coming from, maybe we can save somebody, but I don't know. These folks look mighty dead. I don't know what's up with this circle. Okay, this is not a nice place. Can we use this? No. Cannot use it. Nor can we use that. Just continue. Well, this is nice some barrels. <laughs> Nothing in the barrels, unfortunately. Fine. Um. I mean, this, this doesn't look awful. The Guardian has stuff for entertaining people. Although it's right across from the torture chamber, so that's questionable. Hmm, do these do anything? They don't appear to. Uh, I guess we could go to the right. Oh, it's a worm guard. Hey there. Wow. Yeah, go, uh, Crook of Charming. Got some beds little statue. There's a book. Um, water breathing. Blue. The oxygen in the blood of blood moss 
allows the drinker of a blue potion extended visits underwater. So if we ever wanted to make blue potions, we would use blood moss for that. Clean bandages, huh? Ooh, and a uh, scimitar. Worthless. We're going to leave that there. <laughs> the door closed on that rat. Didn't quite close because of it. What do we have here? Hmm. So, this is the kitchen? It's a little strange what they're having for dinner, but all right. Eh, there's some uh, gold in there. We're not going to take it because we can't. And it doesn't really look like there's anything of interest over here either. Food crumbs. Okay. Can we move this corpse? No. Cannot interact with the corpse. All right, well, we're done in here. That was fun. And in through here. Got some art. Looks like the Guardian's a connoisseur. We cannot interact with them, though. What's the book? Oh. Hey, it's a... Oh. Oh. <laughs> we just kind of, like, clotheslined him. I didn't want to kill a gargoyle. That's terrible. I'll take your stuff, though. Topaz. Blech. What's in the book? Oh, that is Gargish. And that is not. I don't know if we've read this. You know, I'm going to say that we haven't because it was at the beginning. So let's read the Book of Family, the translated portion. When a child hatches from his egg, he is born without wings. But even from birth, one can tell whether a child will grow up to be a winged or a wingless one. The wingless ones cannot speak and lack the intelligence of the winged ones. They must be guided. The winged ones are few, but they are entrusted with the intelligence and wisdom of the race. They must guide. Both winged and wingless ones spring from the same eggs, and both belong to the same family. All function as a single whole to better maintain the struggle for survival in our world. Well, uh, the gargoyles did live on Turfin for a while. Uh, it was given to them as a kind of a refuge from all the racist humans. Oh, that doesn't look good in there. Let's keep exploring everywhere else. Well, yeah, this is a uh, Gargish furniture. We've got some maps that we can't read. I'm not sure where that is. Hmm. Interesting. Those are books that we cannot read. Uh, we'll just drink the potion. Why not? There we go. Got a little bit of health back. We have more books. Uh, whatever this one was, we have read it. Oh, it's the exact same thing. All right. Is this as well? No, this is something else. And we haven't read it either. Or have we? Well, I suppose not, because it, it was not uh, turned to the uh, last page of the book. So, the Book of Ritual, translation. Heed well as I, Naxatalor, write of how I brought the Codex to our land and thereby ushered in the time of prosperity. With the help of the lens maker, I crafted the Vortex lens, by which I could see the Codex where it originally rested. I created the Vortex Cube to focus the power of the Moonstones and draw the Vortex down to the world. Then I used the lens to form an image of the Codex upon the Cube. The Vortex touched our plane, the image became solid, and the Codex was brought down to be used properly by our race. 
Indeed, that is uh, what the gargoyles were doing with the codex way back when. Well, we've got an invulnerability potion and a healing potion. Are these actual weapons? Yeah, those are real battle axes. We could take them, but we don't need to. They're not interesting right now. What's in here? Well, this is looking a mite bit ominous. So we'll go through that door in the next video. Thanks for watching. I'll see you then.